The U.S. Supreme Court is set to start its new term today, and this term is making history. On the agenda, topics testing the limits of free speech, same-sex marriage, and health care reform. Kate Baldwin has a preview of the upcoming term, which starts today. The Supreme Court currently has more than 50 cases on the docket. The most controversial range from immigration reform to free speech challenges. America, America. One of the first deals with anti-gay protests at military funerals. Albert Snyder sued the Westboro Baptist Church and its leader, Fred Phelps, after they staged a demonstration outside his son's funeral in 2006. 20-year-old Marine Lance Corporal Matthew Snyder was killed in Iraq. It comes down to dignity. No one, I don't care if you're not military, no one should be buried with what the Phelps did to him. This is a case of free speech versus privacy rights. The court will also weigh in on the case of Texas death row inmate Hank Skinner. Skinner says he's innocent of the triple murder he's convicted of committing. Skinner argues he has a civil right to request DNA evidence testing post-conviction to prove it. Said all the district attorney's got to do is turn over the evidence and test it and let the chips fall where they may. If I'm innocent, I go home. If I'm guilty, I die. How, how hard? What, what's so hard about that? Prosecutors argue Skinner had his chance to appeal and argue that if he wins, it will open the floodgates to frivolous lawsuits, clogging the criminal justice system. Other high-profile cases include California's attempt to ban the sale of violent video games to children. An appeals court said the law violates the First Amendment. The court will also consider a challenge to an Arizona law cracking down on businesses hiring illegal immigrants. Opponents argue federal law trumps state efforts. Federal government says, we have the immigration laws. Arizona kind of throws up its hands and says, yes, but you're not enforcing them. Meanwhile, the newest justice, Elena Kagan, is taking to the bench for her first term, which also marks a historic first for the Supreme Court, three women serving at the same time. About another two dozen cases will likely be added to the 52 already on the Supreme Court's docket. The caseload for the term is usually settled by February.